easy life. And then as we've got much time for the next video, but I'll do my best. Okay, so. Ah, there was something that got stuck in my head. I was going to make the last video the last video, but then <laughs> I had a new thought um, to leave you with for today. And that is, if as you're going through your day, have a feeling to your main vibration like how you feel mostly are you mostly on an anger current are you mostly on a you know feeling sad are you mostly in fear have a feel for have a think for example to the day before and go through your day and go through your thoughts and go through your how you were feeling throughout the day and then come back <laughs> so my question to you is right because this is where I completely flipped right and changed turned everything around do you honestly feel with your hand in your heart right hand on your heart that you were put here to suffer that you were put here to feel bad most of the time that's a pretty important question So I'll ask you again, right? Do you feel that you came here, you chose to come here to suffer for the most part? Because suffering is optional. Stay with me. <laughs> Do you feel that you came here to feel bad most of the time? because feeling bad is optional. And what do I mean by it's optional? Suffering, feeling bad, is a choice that we make every day. We choose that over feeling good. We choose that over healing and moving out of being the victim because that's what takes you to suffering and feeling bad when we feel we have been victimized. We're the victim of a situation. Someone has power over us. We've given our power away, right? To the point where we feel bad all the time or we suffer all the time. So my question to you today is, do you really think that we were put here for that reason? to suffer and to feel or to feel bad you can and or that one <laughs> really think about it really really think about it and put your hand on your heart and ask yourself did I come here to suffer did I come here to feel bad because no matter what you've been through in your life no matter what you've been through we all have stories right where we felt cast aside we felt unloved we felt abused we felt not wanted not worthy not good enough not 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 right whatever it was everyone has them but we have a choice at what point do you decide that that was that? And this is now. And I deserve in this moment, truly, truly with your whole heart, you deserve in this moment to be happy, to be free from that. From that suffering, from that pain. You deserve to be free from that. And it's not a question of deserving either. You were born free. You came to experience that. Can you look at it as, okay, it was an experience. Like you do with the movie. You go to the movies and you watch a movie about war and all these people getting killed. You don't come out crying that oh your family's been lost in that war 
I mean, they might have been in past wars, but okay, I'm not, I'm not talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about you go to a movie and you see whatever it is in the movie, right? It's a horror movie and these people have been slaughtered in their house or whatever. You don't come out traumatized that, oh, your family's been slaughtered in their house because that hasn't happened to you. It's just a movie. That's what I meant by you're watching a movie when I was talking about the war one. Right? You go in and you watch a movie. And whatever's happened in the movie, okay, you watch this couple and the guy cheats on the on his girlfriend. Whatever the movie is, right? You don't come out of the movie and, oh, my boyfriend's cheated on me. That's it. I'm ending that relationship. No, that was just a movie. Do you see where I'm going? It's just a movie. It just happened. You can detach yourself from it. But not in an unhealthy way. I'm not talking about detach from it that you don't want to look at it ever again you don't want to talk about it ever again you don't want to remember it ever again that, that's that's not the healthy detachment I'm talking about I'm talking about you can look at the event like you do a movie and you walk out of the cinema and that was that and you can remember the movie oh yeah it had parts that were nice that were funny it had parts not so good that you didn't enjoy but you don't suffer <laughs> And it doesn't make you feel bad, right? It's just a movie. You can walk away from it. These events from your past, even though they happened to you, right? At the time you were involved in these events, it happened to you. How about instead of looking at as it happened to you, because that means then you're a victim of that event, right? How about you look at it as that happened for you? Again, let's go back to on a soul level, your spirit chose to have that experience. Your spirit, your soul chose to have that experience. And so this experience happened for you. It happened for you to be here right now probably listening to this video, waking up to, oh, my soul wanted that. It wanted to experience that. That's why we went through that. It happened for me. So that I could have the experience and grow into more compassion, more love, more kindness, more peace, more, more, more. That's what these experiences are always for. For us to expand into more, more love, more peace. They're for us to gain more knowledge, more wisdom, more. For the universe to know itself more fully. Because before you came and had these experiences, all you were was love and light. That's all you were. Love, light, bliss, peace, joy. The whole myriad of all the higher vibrations. That's all there is. And until you came here, you couldn't experience all of that. You didn't know what that was. So how about we look at it as this happened for me because I chose this I wanted to experience this I needed to have this experience my soul yearned for it and that's the difference in looking at the past you look at it as oh it happened to me it happened to me this happened to me see the difference I'm the victim here. Oh, this happened for me. Look at who I am today because of this. Look at all the knowledge I have. Look at all the wisdom. How much more love my heart is capable of holding because of those experiences. Look at how much more compassion my heart is capable of holding. Look at how much more kindness my heart is capable of holding. Make no mistake, 
these things that happened, they happened for you, each and every one. They either made you stronger, they made you realize that you can speak up, you can walk away, you can, you can, you can, you always could. So I'd like you to think about those things today. Do you honestly think that you came here to feel bad all the time and to suffer all the time? Your soul will have done that to you. Your soul's not here for that. It wants you to wake up. It wants you to know this is what we came to experience. Because after that, you know, it's like the thunderstorm. And then the sun comes out and there's the beautiful rainbow. The thunderstorm doesn't last forever. No experience does. Nothing lasts forever. Everything passes. For a reason. You're not meant to be stuck there forever. But you have a choice. You can choose... You can choose to feel bad. You can choose to suffer. Or you can choose to look at those experiences for what they were. They were for you. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.